family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and tonight I'm at the Hancock Homestead in the kitchen getting ready to make a special cake. It's called a diaper cake. This is not the kind of cake that you eat, but it is a type of cake that you might want to consider taking to a shower, uh, a baby shower. And uh, I thought I would show you how I'm going to do this cake step by step so that if perhaps you would want to make a diaper cake for a friend or a relative of yours, then you would know how to do it. Um, this is the third diaper cake I've made. Uh, my daughter has had two children is getting ready for her third, and I've made a diaper cake for each child. And my first two diaper cakes were non-gender specified because we were going to be surprised. So they, those cakes I did in a basic yellow. However, we now know that this child is going to be a boy. So tonight uh, I will be doing uh, a boy cake, specifically light blue. So um, I wanted to share that with you. So the few ingredients or materials that you're going to do, that you're going to need to do a diaper cake, is you will need some kind of a platter to put your cake on. And this is a cookie platter that I got at the Dollar General. And if you watch my other video that I did making a diaper cake, yes, I did have the same kind of platter because I bought, bought several of these at the same time. But if you can find um, a cookie platter, it's about this size. I, I don't know, I'm guessing that's about a 12-inch diameter there. And uh, the main thing I look for is around the edge. You will not see the bunny because it will be covered up with the cake. So I just looked for a basic uh, pretty edge and I thought green goes with just about everything. So there is my cake plate. And then you will of course need some diapers and you're going to need around 70 diapers. I bought two bags of 35 and I bought the size one. That's normally the size that you will want to use. Let's see if I can get these. And you can use any brand. My daughter happens to like the Huggies Snugglers, so that's the brand that I went with. But any brand will do, and uh, the size one I find works the best. And then what you want to do is you will take each of those diapers and you will roll them up and put a little rubber band around them. And the rubber bands that I found work the best, I had to put them in this container because when I opened the sack, of course they went everywhere, are the, are the little um, plastic hair ones that you get uh, for little girls' hairs, uh, for like ponytails and braids, and they, they're just the right size. And if you can find them in white or the clear, that works the best. But I could not find those this time, so I had to go with colored ones. But it's all right, because you can barely see them. But then let me just use this one as an example. So your diapers come out of the package like this, okay? And then what you want to do is you just simply roll them up, and you want to start with the open side going inward. So you just roll up your diaper and put one of those little plastic rubber bands around it. And there you go. That's And there you go. That's your basic diaper. And then after you get your diapers rolled, then you will be putting them into sets of 7. Now I'm not sure why the magic number is seven, uh, but it is. Uh, that's the number that works the best. You have one in the middle and then six going around the edge. So you'll be making bundles of diapers in groups of seven. Okay? All right, so the next thing that you'll need is a roll of paper towels. And what these paper towels do is they sit in the middle as your stabilizer to keep your different layers from um, going side to side. So you put your uh, roll of paper towels in the middle. It does not have to be a full roll. 
roll if you have you know whatever you have available then you take your group of seven diapers your sets and you put them around this paper towel like so and I think if I remember right I use five yep so five groups of seven are going to go around your base. Okay. You guys see that? That's your base. And then to hold all that together, I like to use these large hairband as my uh, holder for those, for that layer. So let me see if I can get this undone here. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing is you have to and go back around and make sure your headband is flat against that outside and kind of in the center all right and then what I like to do is I go back and where I see that it's not completely rounding out I will stuff in another diaper like so To kind of make sure it gets that nice rounding effect. Alright, and then there's the layer, the first layer of the cake. Now don't worry about that black headband because that will eventually be covered up with ribbon okay alright and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the second row okay and then your and then the second row that you do you will only do in groups of five instead of seven You'll want to put the three up against your roll with the um, two sticking out. All right, and then so I use four groups of five for my middle row. Now once again I'm going to use one of these large headbands to pull all that together. Alright, I'm going to go back around, make sure my headband is laying flat. And the thing about th that's nice about these diaper cakes is that the mother-to-be will be able to use just about everything, including the headbands, you know. So, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to stuff in diapers where it needs to be stuffed to make a circle. But by doing them in small groups of like seven or five, it helps to hold those together so that you can get that layer made with the headband okay all right that looks pretty good in the top layer you don't use groups you just take your leftover diapers and you just have to do a single row of them going all the way around
like such. And then you use that last headband to hold up that top row. Okay, and so then there are my three layers of diapers to make a three-layered cake. Okay, friends, now that we have our cake made, the three layers made with the diapers, here comes the fun part, and that is to start the decorating. And the first thing that I like to do is to cover each of these rows with a uh, strip of ribbon and I have selected two colors I have a light blue and I have a royal blue and uh, after looking uh, at the cake I think I have decided to go with the royal blue so I'm going to go ahead and get it opened up here I just like the contrast of the little bit darker blue against the white. All right, and then I'm going to pick a side that I'm going to call my back, okay? And this side that's towards me will be the back. So I just take my ribbon, and of course I just pull it around until I get the length I need it. About like that, okay? And then I have my hot glue gun back here, all ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this ribbon around, pull it tight, and then I'm going to hot glue it. Now, what I like to do is I like to hot glue the ribbon to one of the diapers. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, well, why don't you just hot glue the two pieces of ribbon together? so that you don't have to sacrifice one of the diapers. And actually, that's because whenever I get ready to add my things to it, I have found that if this is not secure, it will slip down, okay? So I like to go ahead and just hot glue to one of the diapers. Now, when I first started doing these, I thought that I was sacrificing one of the diapers, but actually, I'm not because my daughter tells me that the hot glue leaves such a small hole when she takes off the ribbon that the diaper is still usable. So doing it my way, you're not actually sacrificing at all. All right, so let me go ahead and get some glue on here. Now that I've chosen my back, all right, I'm going to hold that until the glue sets just a little bit. I'm going to make sure I'm covering up my black hair band. Pull that around as tight as my fingers will manage. Another dab of hot glue. And there we go. Now the reason I say pick a back is because you really kind of want all of these glue, I mean all of these ribbon strips to end in the same place. Okay, so there's my back. All right, let's go ahead and do another round ribbon strip. I just think that blue, that darker blue, makes a better contrast against the white diapers. Now, if you decide to use a lighter color, such as yellow or pink, um, you might want to go with 
uh, lighter headbands, like white headbands or tan headbands. Or if you can find big enough uh, rubber bands, you don't have to buy the headbands. I like using the headbands because my daughter then uses them uh, later on and they just are easier to get on. Um, row. I just think that adds such a nice coloring to it. Now this time I'm using blue because my daughter and son-in-law decided to find out the gender of this baby. For the first baby and for their second baby they did not want to know the gender. <laughs> so I did both of those in yellow. Made yellow ones. But this time they decided that they wanted to go ahead and know the gender. My daughter did because she wanted to know which clothes, which totes of clothes to pull out because they now have a little boy and a little girl. So she was like, well, which of the totes of baby clothes do I need to pull out? So they decided to go ahead and find out what the gender was. So there's my back. And there's the front. Okay? Alright, and then all cakes need a cake topper. And what I like to use for my cake toppers are rattles. Um, usually I find that they fit in those uh, paper towel holders well. Um, some rattles are not round, they have a long stick or, you know, and that makes them even easier. This one does not, but I think I can still get it to fit down in there, but I just really like the monkey. <laughs> so, I had to get the monkey, but yeah, it'll fit in there. See my little cake topper, the little monkey? Isn't he a cutie? Okay, and then I always like to um, add a ribbon. And I wish I could have found a blue ribbon. I could not. I did find this white one. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. But I think what I'm going to do is add some blue to it. Uh, simply so you can see it. I found this ribbon. I'm not really good at making bows. So I found this bow in the little girl's hair ribbon section. <laughs> But it does need some color, so I think what I'm going to do is add some color to it. So let me get that done, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. Like so. Now if you're good at making bows, you might want to go ahead and make the bow blue. I am just have never been a good bow maker. So I chose to buy this hair bow and just add a touch of the blue to it. Okay, so now I have my ribbons on and they're nice and secure. It's time to start adding the decorations. Alright, now what I do is, since my back is not very pretty, I always try to make sure I'm adding something to it. Okay, so this pack of baby wipes. And because it's so large, I don't want it on the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right, I'm going to hot glue it right back here, okay? And that will cover up my spots that come together and at the same time provide something that they can use because these are for hand and face. Let's see, I want to put, actually I'm going to put the glue on the ribbons because I'm not sure where it's going to hit on the package. So, I'm going to put some there, put down some on this end, stick my package on there, okay, hold till secure, which usually doesn't take very long, and there we go. My hookups are covered up with something that can be used.
All right, so that means I only have one more area that I need to get covered. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do just yet. So let me think on that a little bit. But let's go ahead and start doing the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these teethers. And I chose the teethers because my color concept is blue. And this has a blue, green, and red. Now I'll probably put the blue and the green teethers towards the front to uh, coordinate with the color. And just stick the red one towards the back. Okay. For things like this, the easiest thing to do is to have some ribbon available and just tie them on, okay? So I have this royal blue ribbon. Okay, so what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys off for a bit so that I can go ahead and decorate because the decorating process will take just a little bit of time. But I want to give you a few suggestions on things to use. Okay, um, these little books are really cute. Um, I do always try to have some kind of toys involved. However, I also try to choose things that you know the mother's going to need for the baby. Like I have shampoo, okay, and powder, and nail clippers. And then this little set here, I bought it at the Do Dollar General, has blue washcloths so that will help to coordinate with my blue. It has a hairbrush. It has a comb. I doubt I'll be able to use the um, towel because they'll be too big. So the towels I always just include in with my other gift. Then I was able to find this little set from Dollar General that has uh, a blue hat, some blue socks, okay? Anything blue that's going to make your color pop out blue, and anything babyish that the mother can use for the baby. So those are some suggestions on things to use. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the cake decorated, and then we'll talk about it. Um, another suggestion that I have is that some of these items you will want to tie on, but then some of the items will just simply slide behind the ribbon. And that's why you want that ribbon tight and not be able to slip because you will be just sliding some items in. I usually like to just slide in the baby lotions and the baby shampoos. And I try to balance things. If I put something on this side, I balance it out by putting something on this side. So if it's something that can slide in easily, I slide it. If it's something like the teethers that are going to look better hanging, like ornaments, then I tie them on. Okay? Alright, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm getting ready to tie on the little books, and I just want to show you a trick for these. Okay? And that is to take your ribbon, find the center of your book, tie the ribbon around the spine, and then use this part to tie it to the diaper. Okay? So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Alright, now as you can see, I have tied on the two little books using the ribbon going down the middle. Okay, I've tied on the car. I've tied on the little um, teethers. But then some of these things, like the powder and the lotions, I just slide down into the ribbon. <clears throat> okay, friends, so I wanted to share with you the finished result, okay? And I just wanted to bring a few things to your attention. Um, I try to add balance to both sides. So like, here's my center, okay, and I did go ahead and add some more blue to this white ribbon. Um, I just felt like it needed a little bit more blue. And then I have the socks here, 
and the wash rag heater both blue kind of balancing them out with the blue car in the center you just kind of want to balance and then I added a book to each side and then if you turn this way you'll see that there's another book um, a hairbrush and comb with some uh, baby shampoo back here and then on this side I balanced that out with um, a blue wash rag some baby powder and nail clippers and um, and then I also made sure that I did have some items in the back okay so these are just so much fun to do um, you know probably the hardest part is just rolling the 70 diapers that you need um, but I just sit down in front of the TV one evening with my diapers and my little uh, plastic hair bands and just rolled and banded them up and it didn't take me hardly any time at all and uh, and then you just layer them uh, like I showed before and then buying the little items to go on them is just a lot of fun everything on this cake or almost everything on this diaper cake is usable either by the mother such as the hair bands or by the baby and um, yeah they're just a lot of fun to make so this one is blue because we knew that she was having a boy this time um, I have made other ones in the past the first one I did not videotape because I wasn't doing videos at that time but I did videotape the one I did for my granddaughter However, at the time we didn't know she was going to be a girl, so it was done in yellow, which is a neutral color. And uh, so I'm going to leave a card at the end if you want to see that cake. But, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you this cake. So, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you the cake. And uh, I also wanted to share with you this little invitation that my daughter Katie had made uh, for her sister Karen. The first baby, we had a baby shower. And then for my granddaughter, we had a baby sprinkle. So I made a joke about, well, what's this one going to be? A baby drip? Because we decided not to go with a formal baby shower because um, she has everything she needs. So we decided to just do a dinner with um, both families and just a couple friends. And uh, so my daughter made this little invitation and it's a diaper as you can tell and the flaps fold out and when you open it up there's the invite and it says dinner and diapers a baby drip in honor of Matt and Karen Kendrick and then it gives the location and the time and at the bottom she says gifts are always appreciated but never expected should you like to gift please consider diapers or wipes as baby number three has all the other essentials. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought Katie just did an awesome job on her invitations. So once again, if you um, think that you would like to make a diaper cake, I highly suggest you try it and maybe follow my steps. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, uh, hit that subscribe button to Kim's Country Corner. I always appreciate comments, likes, and shares. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. And thank you for sharing my videos. Alright, I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.